Here is a stem and leaf diagram from which I'm going to calculate the mean. Now, of the three averages, the mean is going to be the least likely one that you're going to meet when you're dealing with the mean, uh, when you're dealing with stem and leaf diagrams, sorry. And that's because it's quite cumbersome to use and find. So, in order to find the mean of this data, of this stem and leaf diagram, I'm effectively going to have to unravel it to work out what the separate numbers were. So, I've got a key saying that 84 means 84. So, here I've got 53 and 55. And then I've got 61, then 72, 78, 79, 84, and 86. And then I'm going to have to add them all up and divide by how many there are. So 53 plus 55 plus 61 plus 72 plus 78 plus 79 plus 84 plus 86, which is 568. So the mean is 568 divided by how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 568 divided by 8 is 71. So 71 is the mean in this case. So that is how you can calculate the mean from a stem and leaf di diagram and you might be able to see as to why this question isn't asked so much because effectively you're not actually using the stem and leaf diagram you are kind of working backwards you're having to pull the data out of the stem and leaf diagram in order to calculate the mean, to add them all up and divide by how many there are. Um, if you are going to be asked the mean, the stem leaf diagram is going to be quite small. Okay, It's going to be nice and small like this, only eight numbers, so that it's readily, you know, it's quite straightforward to do. If you have something like 20 numbers in a stem leaf, then the, finding the mean is just too challenging. So. Don't worry so much about finding the mean, but know that you can pull the numbers out for a simple one like this.